for a workout video that includes cardio, includes dumbbells for all of our muscle groups, some stretching, a cool down, and all in 30 minutes or under 30 minutes. Well, so have I, and it's hard to find, so I decided to put one together for us instead. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so if anything new comes up, you'll always get to know. Also, just to support me. And have a couple sets of dumbbells, some water, and a towel. And let's get started with our warm up. Here we go. I'm gonna start here, just kind of shake it side to side, turn it. Again, make sure that your hips are very stable. I'll also give you a lot of instruction throughout this, but while we're working. And just warming up the shoulders, the wrist, and the upper body, lower body, low back. And then from there, you're going to do it a little squat. So you're gonna squat down, knees behind the toes, lift the arms up and out, and then all the way up and out. So it looks like this, so it's out. And then open up like in a star, and then press it back. And open up, press the palms down. You got some triceps warming up here. The upper back, of course, the legs, one more, back and open, and back, and open. And then you're gonna just all the way forward bend. So you're gonna bend the knees a little bit, and then just see if you can put, let your body completely hang here, and really stretch into the upper and lower back. You can let your arms kind of take a hold of the elbows. Feel the, the hamstrings really stretching at the same time. Widen the legs out about a little more than hip width apart, and then bring your hands down. We're gonna go into a squat. Notice the knees are behind the toes. Lift the arms and then stand it up. Let's do it. It's down and squat and lift and press. Bring it down, squat it back. Arms open, press and squat. Look at the knees behind the toes. Lift the arms, squeeze the upper back. Lift and two more. Bring it down, it's lift and press. And hold them here, just up and down for five, four. Watch these are not coming forward. It's the body and the hips coming up and down. Three, two, one. And then roll it all the way up. Feel each vertebra as you lengthen back up and inhale and come back out. Let's go into a plie squat. So we're gonna fix and start warming up the inner thighs, the glutes, and the arms here. So we're gonna open and lift and down and reach, and down, and reach. Bring both hands up, go ahead and go back into your plie squat, and then bring the opposite elbow, opposite hand to opposite elbow, and just reach it to one side, and hold it here, and maybe pulse for four, three, you're opening up the side body, you're opening up your triceps, three, two, one, let's do that again. Inhale, other side, opposite hand, opposite elbow, Open the chest up a little bit. Make sure your tailbone is facing downward and then bring it to the other side. Let's do it again. So five, four, three, and press into the heels. Two, and one, and open all the way up. And then turn the toes forward, going into a side lunge. You're gonna hinge back, bend one knee, keep the knee behind the toe, open up the arms, lean all the way to the right and down, lift, and lift, and then the other side. So it's like priming the leg, lift and squeeze the upper back, bring it down again, and then all the way up into a star. And down, squeeze the upper back, down, star, to the side, lift, down, two more, bring it down, knee behind the toes, squeezing into the heel, one more. Down, lift, down, and open, beautiful. And then stay here, go back into your plie, and we'll just hold, and then we'll turn. So we're going the arm all the way over, and then back to plie, and lunge, plie, and lunge, plie, lunge, plie, lunge. You're gonna heart rate up a little bit here, and four, and three, and two, and stay here. You're gonna go into your lunge. Make sure the legs are parallel, so move the legs over if you need. The back knees are gonna come almost down to the ground so that you can feel the stretch in your hip flexors. And then you're gonna lift, turn, in, bring it in, other side. So we'll just switch the other side. It's back, knee almost touching the ground. Twist the other way, bring it center. 
bring it in, it's down, twist, in, in, back, twist, in, in, back, twist, let's do two more, and in, back, twist, in, and in, awesome you guys, and let's just do 10 jumping jacks, 10 seconds, here we go, up, if you're not jumping today, just reach it, or both arms and just tap the legs out. We got it. Five seconds to go. For five. And four. Come on, get the heart rate up, get the whole body warm. Three. And two. And one. Awesome, guys. So let's go ahead and get our weights. We're gonna get started. We're gonna go ahead and start with a little bit of a heavier weight. And we're gonna go into our side lunges since we've already kind of talked about that. Toes are facing forward. We're gonna lunge to one side and then lift the arms, bring it down, and then bicep curl. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Lift in and then bring the leg back in. So we'll go side to side. Here we go. It's to the right, upper back, down, bring it in. Get to left, upper back, down, in, right, lift, down, bring it in. Left, press it, and lift, and lift. Got those upper back going, making sure the hips are pressing way back. You're getting into the heel on the bent leg. We got five seconds to go here, five, and in, down, open, in, down, open, in, and you're gonna hold it to one side. Just gonna lift for five, four. Squeeze those abs so you have a low back that's not gonna bother you here. And two, and one. Let's bring it in. Other side, just the upper back. Press it, the heart forward. Open the collarbones. You guys got this. You're right, five. You can always make the weights lighter, heavier. Three, two, and one, we're gonna drop one weight. We're gonna go into cardio from here. We'll start in the center, and we'll go side. This is your choice. You can just do a low impact version. You can add the arm, or you can add the legs, and the arms, and a hop. Keep going. You got it. You wanna get at least 10 seconds in here, working as hard as you can go. I got five more to go. Five, it's four. Three, two, and one. Awesome, guys. Take a break if you need to. We have a couple seconds to get a sip of water. And we're gonna get the right filling. Here we go. Okay, so let's get into our lunge. <clears throat> we're gonna take the legs are gonna be parallel, sitting low into your lunge. You'll do a bicep curl, twist, center, down, switch, lunge, bicep, twist, center, in, lunge, turn, and in, lunge, turn, and in, lunge, turn, it's in, lunge, turn, in. Remember, that bicep curl is going here. You're twisting it. Bending it back in, bicep curl, twist, bring it in, got three more to go, good, one more here, now you're going to stay here, stay really low, as low as you can go, Take the pelvis under, and do ten bicep curls, nine, eight, seven, if you're facing forward, your legs are parallel, for a five, Abs are tight, four, and three, and two, and one. Let's switch right away, other leg. Bicep curls, legs are parallel, you can go to the side for 10. It's nine, eight, all the way up, all the way down. Right knee, back knee is as low as you can keep it. Tuck the tailbone under, four, four, it's three, it's two, it's one. We're gonna release one weight. We're gonna continue with some, with some core work, but actually with some cardio. So here we go. You can either switch it 
as fast as you can go. Or you can jump, jump, let's add a twist. Jump, twist, jump, twist, jump, twist, jump. Feel that heart rate going up. Feel the sweat dripping. Here we go, come on. We've got four more like this. For three, and two, and one. Stay there. We're gonna shuffle it out. 10 seconds. 10, nine, maybe do a little circle. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, awesome guys. Again, take your sip of water whenever you need. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of a lighter weight. This is more of a Pilates move with um, your plie squats. So drop the shoulders down the back. Sit low as you can. Put the tailbone under, knees behind the toes. One arm straight out, other arm is bent. You're gonna press that elbow back to get the upper back to work. And then press under and over. Watch the knees, press them outwards. Down, over, under. I'm gonna add some new steps to this. You can always add a little hip movement, a little dancey move. Let's do it. For five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna stay low, bring the heel up, press, and stand. It's down, it's down, it's down. Your arms should be shaking by then, or by now, because mine are. Down, press, down, woo! For five, that right heel is still up, it's four, you got it. It's three, Woo. it's two, one more. It's one, stay low, and we're gonna switch the legs. So let's just open out into this big star first, and come back down. Other arm out, other elbow bent, press it back, and under, back, over, back, under. Remember, you can add a little dance move with this. Let's go, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay low. Lift the other heel. And you're going to press and lift. Low, lift, low. Straighten it out. Bend the out knees. Straighten it out. Down and up. You're almost there. It's up. Four, five. And up, and four, woo, up. It's three, it's up, it's two, and up. One more, hold it low, both heels are gonna come up. You're just gonna stay here, hold the arms out straight, and just plie it and pulse it out. Squeeze the glutes, tuck the tailbone under, press the knees out, I am dripping, I hope you guys are dripping with me. Here we go, it's 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, hold, three, two, one, and shake it out. We're gonna go right into our cardio. If you need a moment just to wipe down, because I know I'm gonna sweat more with cardio, but let's do it. Here we are. So, cardio, you're gonna punch. Two, three, four, stay low. Either go just lift the heels, or you'll jump. Two, three, four, and punch. Two, three, four, and jump, jump. Two, three, stay low, and punch. Two, three, four, stay low, it's jump. Two, three, four, last one like this. We still have 10 seconds after this. So hold on, four, three, two, one. Last 10 seconds, reach, 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 reach. You got it, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, you guys. Just take a breath. Roll the shoulders back. So hopefully you've toweled down and got a sip of water or two. And we're about halfway through, so let's keep going. Let's do it. We're gonna do some triceps. Gonna get some squats in here, and then we'll go to the ground. So here we are. 
I'm gonna come down, you're gonna have your legs a little bit more than hip width apart. And in your squats, you'll always remember to hinge back, sit low, bring the elbows up high, working on the upper back. But then I'm gonna press it back for four. We're gonna add to this, and three, and two, and one. Sit really low in your squat, and then press all the way up, and then triceps from here. Make sure this, the hips are not moving around and really keep it stable for four, and three, and two, and one, that's the basic way. We can continue here, we're gonna add the leg if you'd like. So it's four, and three, and two, and one. Squat low, press it up, and then you can add a knee. So it's four, and three, and two, and one. Let's keep going all the way low, elbows high, for four, and three, and two, and one. Squat it low, press it up, and four, elbows high, elbows close to the temple. Two, and one, come low, elbows up. For four, add legs if you want, three, two, one, squat it low, press it up. For four, press up, three, bicep close to the ears, two, one, last one just like this, elbows high. Four, three, two, one, squat it low, press it up for four, three, two, one. We're gonna add a little um, speed to this. Here we go. It's down, press, low, up, back, up, squat, and triceps, squat, press, triceps, up, squat, triceps, squat, Press, back, up, down, triceps, in, lift, triceps, up, back, press, and lift. One more like this. Lift, down, triceps. Stay here, we're gonna just do some squats. It's down, you can add the leg. It's down, you can add the arm. You can also just stay here for 10 and nine, and eight, or add your variations, you get to choose what your body needs right now, more or less. It's five, and four, and three, and two. We're gonna stay low for the last 10 seconds here for 10. Keep it low, as low as you can. Knees behind the toe. Back is flat, collarbones wide open, shine that hard for five, four, three, two, woo! Drop a weight, we're gonna continue with cardio from here. So your choice, down, toes, lift, down, heels, lift. I'm gonna give you another option, down, jump, lift, down, jump, lift. Here's our ultimate choice. If you want to try it all the way, let's do it. Down, jump, up, squat down, jump, down, lift. So it, it's one motion, all the way down, press, and press, and press. Woo! Remember your options, you can stay here. You could stay here, just stay here like this. You can just come up and down. Or let's do it, 10 seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, come on. Five, you got it. Four, three, woo, two, and one. Oh, we did it. You guys, just take a breath here real quick. Inhale through the nose, let it go. We're not done, we have abs. You're gonna get your mat, bring it onto the ground. Here we go. Giving you a few moments to do the same. Get your weight. Just keep them all next to you. I'm gonna get some light ones. Here we are. So I love this move. It's like a Pilates move. Really works the entire front of the body. I'm gonna go with light for this one. On your heels, you're gonna lean back as far as you can, but then open the collarbones. Squeeze the pelvis forward, out, abs in. 
Even if you don't do anything more than this, you're working your abs really, really hard. Here we go. We're gonna go side, center, side, center, and then press it back for three and four. I'm gonna to turn to the front. Here we go. Side, up, side, up, press, two, three, four, side, up, side, up, press it back, abs are tight, three, four, side, and two, and press, two, three, four, let's do the sides roll faster, for four, three, two, one, it's back, two, three, you have to really keep the abs tight so that you're not wiggling the hips around during this time, one more, four, three, two, keep it going, bring the arms in, it's side, to the side, notice nothing moving in the low abs, I mean in the low hips, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, a little cardio, just punch it out, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come all the way down, you're gonna round the back up first. You can keep a heavier weight, we're gonna do some chest work. Round it up, and then grind myself out a bit. Here we go, and this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have the legs up, like a little tabletop, bring one weight onto one leg. The other arm, and then lengthen, and then lift the head and reach for the ankle. Inhale here, exhale. By holding on to the other leg, you're working the quads here, working your hip flexor on the still leg. We're also working the abs even more to keep that leg still. For five, and inhale, four, inhale, three. Got some lat work here, your armpit, little armpit fat that, that we have, that's getting worked on. One more, not all the way up. It's back, it's up, it's back. Try not to go too far back with the arm, just about close to the cheek. We don't wanna hurt the shoulder here. And up, and back. Four, four, and back, and three. If your low back starts to hurt here, just keep the legs bent the whole time. That's a little bit better if your low back doesn't bother you. Two, and one. Let's switch right away. Right angle with that left leg. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. I'm gonna to turn to the front just for a moment. You won't be able to, you won't be able to see my face or my body that way. Let's just continue here and exhale. Remember, the low back is pressing down. The pelvis is tilted down. The ribs are pressing down. Five more. For five, it's inhale, exhale, inhale, three, inhale, two, inhale, maybe all the way up, it's down, it's exhale, inhale, exhale, about five more to go, five. If the weight becomes heavy, release the weight, just keep it going. For four, inhale, and three, Woo. it's two, it's one, stay here, and we're gonna go open up the elbows and press down, press down. You got some chest work. If you can add that head lift, you'll get a little extra in the abs for 10 and nine. Get those chest muscles to squeeze up. And five, and four, and three, and two, and one, hold it here, pulse, pulse, it's eight, seven, six. I'm gonna keep my low back down, my head down. I wanna really concentrate on the chest, on the legs, and on the abs. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, I'm gonna release that. Finally, go into your bicycles, really get the heart rate to go up, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, Woo. Turn around all the way. You wanna keep this under 30 minutes, let's do it. Get into your plank, on the forearms. I always end in a plank. So hips come down, even with your shoulders. Press the elbows down, press the forearms down, 
Press the heels back, tuck the tailbone under. Gaze forward and just hold. You guys got it. If you want more, you're going to tap and then press the heels back. If you want less, keep the knees, knees down. Stay here, your choice. Otherwise, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, woo, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Four, squeeze the elbows apart from each other. Squeeze the palms down. Tuck the tailbone under three, two, hold it longer if you can. The rest of us are gonna let go here and just take a break for a moment. Bring the palms underneath. Just do a nice little stretch, cobra stretch here for the upper back. And all the way back, round it all up in your child pose. Put your forehead close to your knees. Round the back, relax the shoulders, relax the head. I'm dripping still, so I'm just gonna wipe down and take a deep breath here. And then just come on up. Go into a inner thigh stretch, our boy stretch, bring the feet together, and see if you can slide the heels towards your, your um, pelvis. Drop the legs down, open the heart and chest. Good, just stretch the inner thighs. One more deep breath there. We're gonna come all the way back up, and we're gonna go ahead and lay on our backs to get our hips stretched out. From here, you'll come all the way down, bring the left ankle, figure four, arm under knee, keep both feet flexed, and then gently bring the leg in towards the chest. I want you to notice a few things. If your shoulders are lifting, drop them down, use your biceps. We're working out our muscles, we don't wanna hurt the neck or shoulders here. Maybe you lengthen up a little bit and really get more into the hamstrings back here. Deep breath. And we'll come back down. And we'll just switch the legs. So left ankle, bring that thigh in. Flex both feet, relax the shoulders. Maybe lift it up to the sky. Stretch the back of that leg out. One more deep breath. Relax both legs to the ground. Bring the legs about hip width apart, or mat width apart, I should say. Bring your arms in the cactus, just relax them. And let the legs turn over to one side as you gaze to the other, and really press down and get the stretch in the outer leg, your IT band. Just press it down as you gaze the other way. Remember to deep breath in the nose and let it go out of the mouth. Get rid of all that stale air. And we'll go to the other side. We'll just turn our heads the other way. Deep breath, and then bring it back in, and just bring it in, just roll it on up. And come back to seated, whatever comfortable position feels good to you. Relax the shoulders, good, and then just open up and press the palms forward, chin tucked in, round up the back, and help lengthen all the way up. Exhale, bring the hands back behind you, and you're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades and press the arms away, stretching into the shoulders. And then relax it here, just a nice twist to one side, just turn the head, the shoulders, neck, and the other side. And then come back to center, and just give yourself a nice big shrug, inhale, and let it go. And you guys, thank you so much for hanging in there, for sweating with me, for getting this amazing workout, which worked every part of our body today, and even our heart. And again, don't forget to subscribe and join me again for another workout. Thank you. Namaste.